Hello, guys. So today we'll be doing a Pearson official mock test, a PTE mock test, and we will be doing mock test D, score test D, for the next two hours. So let's get started. I'm just going to zoom in. The first question is read aloud. Credit unions are non-profit organizations that were imported to the United States from Germany in the early 1900s. They were regulated in 1934 by the Federal Credit Union Act, which limits membership to groups having a common bond of occupation or association. Groups from particular geographical areas also were eligible to join credit unions. This one is a bit tricky. Credit unions are non-profit organizations that were imported to the United States from Germany in the early 1900s. They were regulated in 1934 by the Federal Credit Union Act, which limits membership to groups having a common bond of occupation or association. Groups from particular geographical areas also were eligible to join credit unions. The next question, there are two main, so remember guys to maintain your fluency, uh, like just be natural. You don't need to speak too fast, but at the same time, we can't speak too slow. Um, just pause when you see full stops or commas. There are two main types of market research. Quantitative research involves collecting a lot of information by using techniques such as questionnaires and other forms of survey. Qualitative research involves working with smaller samples of consumers, often asking them to discuss products and services while researchers take notes about what they have to say. Okay. There are two main types of market research. Quantitative research involves collecting a lot of information by using techniques such as questionnaires and other forms of survey. Qualitative research involves working with smaller samples of consumers, often asking them to discuss products and services while researchers take notes about what they have to say. This course, this course it provides an introduction introduction to the history and development of the British legal system. It aims, uh, its aim is to describe the evolution of the common law of England, the legal system of England, and the legal profession of England, and to introduce you to the study of constitutions as laws and to the legal aspect of constitutional systems of government. This course provides an introduction to the history and development of the British legal system. Its aim is to describe the evolution of the common law of England, the legal system of England, and the legal profession of England, and to introduce you to the study of constitutions as law and to the legal aspects of constitutional systems of government. This is an extremely useful resource which ranks books and academic papers on the subject not only in terms of their reliability but also their readability. As a result, it is likely to save students time and effort that would otherwise have been spent working through a lot of dense texts before finding the one they really need. This is an extremely useful resource which ranks books and academic papers on the subject not only in terms of their reliability this is an extremely useful resource, which ranks books and academic papers on the subject, not only in terms of their reliability, but also their readability. As a result, it is likely to save students time and effort that would otherwise have been spent working through a lot of dense texts before finding the one they really need. Okay. Closure activities allow participants to consolidate learning, say goodbye to group mates, and attend to any unfinished business prior to the ending of the group experience. Generally, these activities involve some reflection upon what has been learned or accomplished 
during the preceding time together and a sharing of those thoughts or insights with other participants. Okay, make sure that um, you know, like your mouse movement is wide enough so that the sounds are more clear. Closure activities allow participants to consolidate learning, say goodbye to group mates, and attend to any unfinished business prior to the ending of the group experience. Generally, these activities involve some reflection upon what has been learned or accomplished during the preceding time together and a sharing of those thoughts or insights with other participants. Thus, language acquisition might be like other biological functions. The linguistic clumsiness of tourists and students might be the price we pay for the linguistic genius we displayed as babies, just as the decrepitude of age is the price we pay for the vigor of youth. Thus, language acquisition might be like other biological functions. The linguistic clumsiness of tourists and students might be the price we pay for. Okay. Thus, language acquisition might be like other biological functions. The linguistic clumsiness of tourists and students might be the price we pay for the linguistic genius we displayed as babies, just as the decrepitude of age is the price we pay for the vigor of youth. I look forward to meeting you and to helping you realize your goals. I look forward to meeting you and to helping you realize your goals. Read the fitness center instructions before attempting to use the equipment. Read the fitness center instructions before attempting to use the equipment. The books are filled with drawings of machines he invented when he was a student. The book, uh, books are filled with drawings of machines he invented when he was a student. Oh my gosh, I accidentally skipped one question. It is necessary to solve the equation to determine the unknown variable. It is essential to solve the equation. Equ equation to determine the unknown variables. My gosh. The book is informative, but it could be accused of political bias. The book is informative, but it could be accused of political bias. During an official ceremony, a memorandum of understanding was signed by the academic dean. During an academic ceremony, the official memorandum of understanding was signed by the academic dean. Was it? Our tutorial will take place on the second floor in room one. Our tutorial will take place on the second floor in room one. The library offers group study rooms so you can work with other students. The library offers group study rooms so you can work with other students. Proficiency in a foreign language may be demonstrated by assessment. Proficiency in a foreign language can be demonstrated by an assessment. Okay, I hope that skipping one repeat sentence doesn't have a substantial effect, but we'll see, we'll see. We're just going to be like, we're just going to do better in other sections. Okay, the title of this graph would be average rainfalls in inches and then cities. Okay. The bar chart below shows average rainfall in inches. It provides information uh, and comparison of four different cities. Uh, the first one is New York, which is highest, and you can see 47.25 inches in rainfall. 
The lowest one is in Phoenix with 7.66 inches, following by Honolulu with 22.02 and Dallas, which is 33.70. So in conclusion, uh, the high, New York has substantial um, rainfall compared to other cities. Okay. Another bar chart. So yeah, um, normally, um, you know, like um, for for the content, don't think too much about content. You know, like the fluency is very important in, in describe image. So keep speaking. The bar chart shows percentage of students aged five to seventeen taught at home in USA. As can be seen from the chart, there was a the gradual increase from nineteen ninety nine to two thousand twelve. Uh, it started at 1.7%, which is the lowest one, uh, and the highest one was seen in 2012 with 3.4% of students taught at home, following by 2.9% in 2007 and 2.2% in 2003. So in conclusion, we can see the proportion of students aged 5 to 17 taught at home in the United States. Okay. So this is line graph. And we have two lines here and then 60% increase, okay. So the introduction and conclusion can be the same. You can repeat the title if you need to, if you don't know what to say and you don't want to lose fluency. The line graph shows the percentage of students from disadvantaged backgrounds entering university in England. Uh, it shows that there was 60% increase from 2006 to 2014. It started at uh, around 12% in 2006 and gradually increased to 15% in 2010 and reached 20% in 2014. So in conclusion, there was an um, upward trend in the percentage of students from disadvantaged backgrounds entering university in England. Okay. This is a trickier one. So just utilize the keywords you can see on the picture. And uh, it's okay to repeat some of them. The, ch the chart below shows the life cycle of a frog. It started with a frog laying eggs and the second stage is um, turning into embryo. It then turns into tadpole and tadpole will grow two legs. The next stage is tadpole with four legs and finally it will grow into an adult frog. This stage repeat again with uh, eggs, embryo, tadpole, tadpole with two legs, tadpole with four legs and frog. So in conclusion, this image shows the life cycle of a frog. The first results on the Welsh language were reported in March 2003. The census found that there were 576,000 Welsh speakers aged three and over, or 21% of the population, which represents a 2% increase since 1991. The proportion of people in Wales aged three and over who can speak, read and write Welsh increased from 13.6% to 16.3% over the period 1991 to 2001. A further 138,000, or 5% of the population, said they understood Welsh but did not speak it. In addition, 84,000 gave a combination of positive responses that was imprecise, making it difficult to work out whether they could understand, speak, read or write Welsh. The growth in the number of Welsh speakers has occurred largely in the south and east of the country. The report on the Welsh speakers was published in March 2003 and census reported 550 uh, southern 
people age three or over, and which is 20% of population who could speak Welsh. And this is 2% increase since 1991. Uh, these people could read, write and understand uh, Welsh. And this is 16.3% increase from 1991 to 2001. And 51% of population understood language but could not speak it, and 84,000 gave positive response. So in conclusion, the growth of world speakers occur in the southeast of the country. The most visible manifestation of this wealth <coughs> was a series of grand projects that were begun by Napoleon III, mainly in Paris, <clears throat> soon after he came to power in the 1850s. He said, I want to be a second Augustus, making reference to the Emperor Augustus's claim that he'd found Rome a city of brick and left it one of marble. In the case of Napoleon III, he found Paris in 1851 a city of cobblestones and twisting medieval streets, and he left it one of asphalt and macadam, because what he began doing was bulldozing old Paris, the ancient medieval part of Paris, and replacing it with wide new boulevards, um, 85 miles of them uh, that he lit with some 20,000 gas lamps, which he took out all the old 18th century oil lamps, replaced them with gas, which gave a much cleaner, brighter, regular light. Um, also 50,000 trees were planted alongside them, many of them the chestnut trees that we now think of as synonymous with Paris. Um, and he drained the, street, the streets with 200 miles of sewers, uh, these new famous Parisian sewers beneath the streets, thereby making the city a much more well, safer, pleasant place to wander, to stroll, to people watch, to have um, coffee or absinthe in the cafes. So the lecture talked about the grand projects which was began by Napoleon III in the 50s. He wanted to become the second Augustus, the uh, um, uh, Emperor, Emperor Augustus, uh, who f found, founded Roman city. And he also founded Paris in 1850 um, with medieval streets. And he, he was trying to bulldoze the old Paris and replace, replace it with 20,000 gas lamps um, with brighter and regular light. He planted more than 55,000 trees and drained the street with the new sewages. So the street become more pleasant. Mm. How many years are in a decade? 10 years, 10. What do you use to identify yourself when you arrive in a foreign country? Passport. What do you press when you arrive at someone's front door? A bell. Bell. What is the occupational title for the composer of a novel? A novelist, novelist. The terms circumference, diameter and radius refer most commonly to which geometric shape? A circle, circle. What do you call a person who trains a team of athletes? A coach, coach. What is the term for an extended speech by one person in a play? Monologue. Monologue. Not sure about this one. <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we can check um, the results. 
um, I only did speaking, uh, you know, do writing, reading, and listening. Um, and let's check what we got here. Okay, so overall score is 42 um, because we skipped three parts of the exam. Um, but if you look, look at the speaking, um, I got 90, speak 90. Um, I got 43 listening because um, because of retail lecture, repeat sentence and answer questions. And I also got 34 reading because of the read aloud section. Writing 10, um, since we did not have any tasks relating to writing. Um, and even though I missed one repeat sentence and did not do so well in some of the re repeat sentences, um, and uh, I think my last answer for the answer short questions was also probably incorrect. So we still got 90. Um, so remember, if even if you make mistakes, even if you mess up somewhere, just keep going. Uh, just try your best to do well in the other questions. Don't panic. So, um, so yeah, uh, this was mock test D. Uh, if you want to see other mock tests, make sure to comment on this video, to like this video, and to subscribe to my channel.